Hi, I'm Bruce Peterson with Navarro Canoe. Today, Stephen Smith and I are going to show you a way to make a cart to transport your canoe. I think it's going to be one of the easiest ones that you've made. It's going to take what is pretty much common material, a discarded golf cart. It's pretty easy to find if you don't already have one in your garage that you're not using. And we're going to add to it a swimming noodle, a couple of tie-down straps, and a few pieces of wood. So let's get started. Stephen's going to start by removing the scorecard holder. There are some variations in these cards, but they tend to run pretty much the same. And while we'll remove the handle, there's another little piece there that you may see that is slid around that we want to make sure that we keep because that will lock our two pieces together when we have it in the extended position. Next he's going to remove the top bag holder. This is the piece that we will want to save because we will reuse this piece and have it be the bow support on our new canoe cart. The bottom bag holder will be removed as well, and that piece, like the scorecard holder and the handle, will be discarded. And that completes the disassembly part of our project and now we'll start putting things together. We chose a golf cart because one, they're easy to find. Two, they're lightweight, they fold up, and they have wide wheels that allow you to pull on relatively soft terrain without them sinking in and making it difficult to pull. I want to show you now what uh, there's only one, two, three, four, five, well, this one we did six uh, modifications to the cart. First one is we put a carrier for the back part of the canoe. And for this, we took a 18 inch long, one inch by three quarter, actually it's one inch square board, rounded the edges, stuck a noodle on each side, and remember what your mother told you, all noodles are not created equal. Get one that has a thick wall. Some of the noodles can have pretty thin walls. They'll give you less cushioning. So we took 18 inches long. We took a piece of noodle and we put it on each end. We left a gap in the center because some of our canoes have keels and some don't. And we wanted to be able to handle both on our carrier. So this little bit of a gap with the noodles Let's just take a canoe with a keel and it gives still good stability or it'll take uh, a V-bottom as well. We added two little blocks just to give a little bit of uh, more strength and more of a location in which to fasten our metal, uh, excuse me, our wood bar to. So we bolted these two uh, pieces through and that's a three quarter inch by inch and a quarter inch piece. All the pieces we've used are hardwood versus pine. Uh, I just have a preference for the hardwoods. So we've got uh, those two pieces bolted on. We then came underneath and screwed our uh, one by into that. And that's holding on uh, this bar with the noodles on. And that was the first modification that we made. The next modification 
was at the opposite end. And on this one, we took and reused the bag holder, the top bag holder, and we mounted it on this end of the cart. And it works out pretty slick because those bag holders have a strap location in them already. So we take and we put a strap in the bag holder, then we thread it through a noodle, and we like this because on the V-bottom it can flex for the V-bottom or it adjusts for the keel. And then we take our straps and we'll wrap it around the top of the canoe and strap it down. We like to uh, keep the nose of our canoe off the ground a little bit, so because of that we take and we add these wood blocks and we've got uh, two blocks that are 10 inches long here, uh, and a little bit of a spacer here to match the space up here. Keeps it just uh, at a slight angle, our canoe, when we have it sitting on there. And that is the modification for the front end. Now, these nice carts are collapsible, and so to make it so that you can collapse it, this piece moves up and then these will swing down and you have uh, the cart folding up. But you need to be able to keep this piece in place. We've used a simple pin uh, that we bought at a hardware store that will thread through there and that will hold that piece in place. It may stay there without being pinned, but it gives you a little bit of added security by pinning it. We also pinned our wheels, and the reason we pinned our wheels on this one is that I wasn't real happy with the way this cart's wheels locked in place. Some carts lock in better than others. You'll have to take a look at the wheels and decide what you think of it. Uh, we took a simple fix. We just drilled through and then we had a pin, basically a clevis pin with a lock that we put through the hole and it locks those wheels on. The other piece that you need to do for sure is this cable that runs between the two legs. When you first put your cart together, if you press on this and you put say 100 pounds of pressure on it, you'll see that those wheels will tend to spread on you. So we didn't want that, we wanted to be able to have a really strong cart. So what we did is we got some 1 8 inch cable, drilled hole through this leg and this leg at equal locations. We then took 1 8 inch cable, threaded through, and then we put a crimp-on connector on each end of it. Uh, crimp-on connector is nice, clean. Figure out your distance first, thread it through. You can have one end crimped already. Thread this through, fold it up, carry it to your vise and crimp it. And if you want, you can tap it with a hammer. If you don't have a vise, you can just use a hammer and pound it uh, once you've got it there. Then when you extend it, You've adjusted the length so that it's tight when it's opened up. By doing that, you create strength in this little triangle here, and you've got a cart that can carry a whole lot. Put a strap on the back. We don't show it here, but we'll strap it in the back. That strap will then hold the back end of the canoe on our trailer, and you're set to go. Here we have the completed carrier with the canoe loaded on it and Stephen will move it around a little bit to show you how easily it moves.
Well, thank you for joining us in our video. We hope that uh, you enjoy your panels, and I'm sure that many of you, when you start working on a carrier, are going to find ways to improve that. I'd be interested in finding out uh, what clever ideas you come up with and uh, seeing how you do it. Maybe I can improve mine. When you come in uh, need for a canoe, we'd like you to come and visit us at navarrocanoe.com, or be it better yet, uh, come and visit us at our shop in Rock Island at 2219 3rd Avenue. Have a great time paddling.